Hello there. We are coming into the last week of my little mini diet. And uh, yeah, here we are on what, like what day or video eight, I should say. And we're going to do Renaissance Rome. Um, I've never tried anything from these guys before, so I'm very, very excited. Just tasting, bl uh, not blind, but tasting without notes. Let's see what they got. Okay, so this is a new distillery in Taiwan. Uh, they only started up around, I want to say 2016, 2017 or so. So less than 10 years. And they've been focusing on making rum from uh, Taiwan grown cane. Uh, well, molasses made from Taiwan grown cane and uh, longer fermentations and aging in uh, a fun mix of oaks. This one is, they're calling it white alligator which is to say it's American oak that's been uh, heavily charred. Uh, but you're also going to see a lot of um, cognac casks, uh, sautern casks, stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've never tried anything from these guys. These are not inexpensive. Um, spirits from Taiwan tend to be, you know, up there. But... Um, yeah, let's give this a shot. It's, there is a cast number on this. I'll put it down below. But it is bottled at 64.8%, distilled 2018, and it's a three-year-old. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Very, very uh, pungent nose. Just hopping right out of, right out of the, the, the glass at me. Um, my first thought is actually, so I don't use this note very often, but sandalwood, um, I use, uh, so sandalwood is a note I find a lot in California over oaked Pinot Noirs for some reason, but it's not something I use a whole lot in spirits, but here it is. Oh, and another thing, I usually only use this one on like Appleton's, but, um, like rose jelly, it's a Lebanese thing. Uh, go to your local Middle Eastern grocery store, get yourself some rose jelly. I mean, obviously vanilla, lots of vanilla, campfire ash. Um, actually, right alongside the, the, the sandalwood, root beer. Just straight up root beer. Um, not sure what kind of root beer, uh, maybe like a craft root beer that's a little bit more aggressive and barky. Uh, certainly some like, uh, a little bit of a sawdusty thing, a little bit of, um, of a, like a, uh, like a ginger candy note. So the wood is definitely acting up. But it's happy to remind you that it is a rum. So I'm getting a fair amount of like salted licorice on this, black licorice. Not a ton of oliviness, maybe like half a black olive in there. Um, but certainly the, the kind of like tree barky aromatic character is coming through. There's a little bit of an incense kind of note. Um, there's a little bit of a like, uh, like a South Asian dessert cart kind of thing going on. There's a lot of cardamom like here, pistachios. Oh, absolutely, there's pistachios in this. Like candied pistachios. Cinnamon as well. Um, I mean, it does smell like a young spirit that's been smashed with oak, but it smells like a good young spirit that's been smashed with oak. A little bit more fruit coming out now. Um, like some um, baked pineapple, maybe. Yeah, the more I smell this, it, it's it's like a more 
root beery, aromatic. I mean, Appleton in some ways, App, like pot still Appleton. So, um, but it, it has that kind of character on the palate. I mean, very, I could just name off a lot of the stuff that's going on the nose on the palate. Um, very woody. Vanilla. Um, Darjeeling tea. Root beer again. Sandalwood again. Um, that rose jelly thing, that's still in play. Um, cardamom, cinnamon, pistachio. The, um, the baked pineapple thing. I mean, it's a very rummy rum in a lot of it's it's it yeah it really does remind me of Appleton Hearts in a lot of respects. So if you can imagine, um, yeah, actually yeah let's let's go with that. This is kind of what I wish if this were cheaper. This is kind of what I wish um, Appleton would do at some point, which is release a, you know, a younger spirit at high strength. The Appleton parts out there are very expensive. They're just a little too old for me. They're a little woody. Um, but I think, you know, you, you pop on the Appleton, a pot still Appleton out of the barrel at, you know, five years old, three years old, um, bottle it. It's, it's going to be good. And this is, this is kind of in that territory for me. It's really the rose jelly thing that's doing it. More root beer, black licorice. I mean, uh, yeah, if, once you get past the wood, again, candy ginger, sawdust, touch of dried cherry here as well. Um, once you pass, get past the wood, this is a very kind of clean... Um, it's just, it's just a well-made rum distillate. Uh, I, I, I'm enjoying it, and um, yeah. So let's add some water, and we'll come back to it. I'm curious to see what water does, especially to the aromatics. In terms of delivery, um, good mouth presence. I mean, it, a lot of it is wood, but um, it, it's, I mean, it's it's very very peppery, very tannic. Um, not a ton of length uh, on it on the back end. And the finish, um, it's most of what's happening in the finish is kind of, you know, kind of medium length, but uh, the tannins, that kind of dry, um, you know, Kentucky bear hug kind of carries on a little bit longer. Um, so, yeah, what uh, diet. Uh, I, I've, uh, I've had some fun with this. Like, um, not so much the dieting part because it always just puts me in a bad mood. I always feel like I want to, you know, scream anything anytime something slightly irritating happens. But I have been enjoying uh, doing these little one-offs, these little short, you know, 10, 12 minute videos um, where I can focus on one thing and also just kind of clear out my cabinet of stuff that doesn't fit into other bigger flights. Um, I don't know. Post post down below if you've been enjoying this format. It's been it's been fun for me. Um, as far as dieting goes, yeah, I've lost I've lost a few pounds. I'm probably coming up on five pounds at this point. Um, and what I've learned is I need to have at least one night a week where I can eat with the family. So how I'm going to construct that is going to be interesting. Um, I will have to squeeze a little bit harder during the week and maybe do like a a carb up on Friday or something, and then maybe I can have a normal meal that night. Um, no, we'll see. We'll see how I how I end up constructing it. But it's that's that's been like the the biggest sort of sort of uh, source of tension so far is there's never a moment when I'm like actually eating the same thing on the table with the kids because I have 
to, I have to count calories, otherwise the weight loss does not work for me. Um, it's a yeah. I, I know some people can get it to, can get uh, weight loss to work without counting calories. No, for me that no, it doesn't work. Uh, anyways, let's go. Uh, let's get back to the room. Let's have some time on the nose. It brings out uh, water. Brings out a little bit more of the molasses kind of kind of character. It's um, yeah. A lot of what was there before is still there. It's just now there's a layer of just like straight up good old fashioned baking molasses poured over everything. Very aromatic. Very woody, rummy. Very Appleton-y, I mean, in lots of ways. I know I keep bringing that up as a point of reference, but that's that, that's what this brings to mind. On the palate. Brings up the mouthfeel a hair. Brings up the finish a hair. Length is still about the same. More peppery. Again, there's there's a little bit more of a overt molasses kind of note on this now. Um, there is more of a cinnamon stick thing, or even more like a cinnamon toast crunch kind of element to this. Even a little milk chocolate coming through now. Not like crap American milk chocolate. This is like really good organic no soy le lecithin um stuff like actual decent milk chocolate that's starting to roll in a little bit now it's still young like it hasn't really developed a lot of kind of fun weird tertiary stuff um you're pretty much getting a good distillate and, and a hell of a lot of oak, but it works. I mean, I think this is pretty darn good. Um, what am I going to score this? Uh, it's, in, it's kind of in the mid to high eight. I'm going to give this an 86 plus. 86 plus for Renaissance 2018, white alligator, whatever the cast number is. And yeah, that's the video. Uh, 13 minutes and I'm out. Thanks for watching and cheers.